Good, beautiful morning, family, and welcome to Kingdom Moments. Today is January 18th, 2024. The title of our devotion today is going to be Let There Be Peace. We are in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 14. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace be to you all who are in Christ. Peace. What a word. It rolls off the tongue with endless possibilities. When I was a child, I sang a song with my mother that I remember to this day. It was called, Let There Be Peace on Earth and Let It Begin with Me. Now, when I sang that song, I had an idea of what peace was. I was a child. At that time, people were mean to each other. Families were fighting and the Soviet Union was locked in this cold war with the United States. And I wanted peace. I wanted the wars to stop. I wanted the arguments and the fighting to stop. And I just wanted everyone just to get along. But ladies and gentlemen, that's not peace. The peace that the Bible talks about, the peace that the Bible tells us is the peace of God. We find this in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. We literally have the peace of God. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 15, we're actually charged to let the peace of Christ rule our hearts. The Bible's peace is different from man's peace. Whereas man's peace seeks a ceasing from fighting, God's peace is the privilege to be at total peace in the middle of all of it. And to attain that, one must repent, change your mind, change your thinking about it, and submit to the truth that you have peace within you and you can live that way every day without fail because you are in Christ. First Peter 5. Verse 14, last two words. That's who you are. That is your identity in Christ. I am not a used to be. I am not a pastor. I am not a teacher. I am not a this worker. I'm, you are in Christ. Your identity is not what you do, what other people say about you. Your identity is in Christ. That truth brings peace. Family, I love you. You have a fantastic day in Christ. Amen? Amen.